Yes, guys. We are here with Ben. What's up, guys? Ben. Sen. <laughs> In Turkish language, Ben means me. If you, if if that guy goes to Turkey and says, "Hello, I am Ben." <laughs> He says, "Hello, I am me." Yeah. <laughs> What what does son mean? So Ben and son, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what does son? Ben. Son. So me, you. Yes. Yeah. So Ben, so Ben, and then son, which is son. Yeah. You. You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Morning, my treasure. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and another one. <laughs> Look at that message. <laughs> Morning, my treasure. <laughs> With a naked picture. <laughs> hey, I think she has something for you, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> She's coming up. Yeah. She's in Laos. Laos? Laos. Yeah. You say? Just Laos. With no S. The next board is no, no, no. She's coming back. No. I got a point. People doesn't believe in me. No. Many people believe in me. No. But they gotta know. Our damn government no. is fucking us. Not in the ass. In the ass. <laughs> no shit. I told you my videos, all of them is cheap. So, so what do we do? Are we, are we starting a revolution, or are we starting? Are we just gonna accept the fact that we get fucked in the ass? We're not gonna accept the fact. <laughs> so what? So how do we do it? We are drinking. We're gonna refuse the tax. We're gonna defend. Yeah. So. Ben here, yeah. a beautiful guy. <laughs> you see how handsome he is. Mm. Show them your hair. My hair? Yeah. I, I, I you have, have a better hair, hair than mine. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, you only have a little bit of hair. Yeah. If I don't cut it, it's gonna be. I'm gonna lose it all. And if I cut it, you lose it all. Yeah, if I don't, you know, shave it, I'm no. gonna lose it all. So it's like a, a young man with like trying to grow a beard, and you just shave and shave and shave. Oh, my day. beard is good, but my hair is not good. Yeah, but you could just rock the beard and no hair. I also don't like hair. You know, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Really, I'm serious. Yeah. All right, guys, you are in Turkey. You don't speak English much. Arkadaşlar, now Turkish. I'm. Yeah. Şimdi diyorsunuz yani böyle yok işte yurt dışında öyleymiş yok yurt dışında böyleymiş falan filan. Ulan adam size anlatacak şimdi. Adam size anlatacak şimdi. Dinleyin. Yeni Zelandalı, New Zealand. We call it Yeni Zelanda. So we we, uh, we have a, another name for it. It's called Aotearoa. Huh? Aotearoa. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's a Maori name. Maori. Yeah. So Maori is like um, first we had the Maori order, and then then we had the Maori. So they're, they're like indigenous population. So they're like aboriginals for like Australia. But the aboriginals. But you are Anzac. Yeah, yeah. So what is Maori? Maori are the they're the big fuck off like big fat black people. Yeah, normally. <laughs> so they are in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. They're like they're. They're like the people that came before the white people. Still, they are in New Zealand. Yeah. Black people. Yeah. And they're Maori. Yeah, Maori. 
Modi. M A O R I. Okay, so. Yeah. Ma Modi. Why, why, why they are there? Um, there, 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 there's a lot of stories, but uh, no one knows how like the Maori order really got there. Um, but the Maori, they came on the boats from like the islands. So like up north, we have like what? The, uh, no, yeah, Norfolk Islands. Uh, Is it African? Nah, it's a little bit far to travel, but Polynesian. So, oh yeah, uh, French colonies. No, 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 not French, like way before, before, way, this, oh. uh, this is before the French Revolution. I'm talking like maybe 1400s. Yeah, so like way before. So way before Napoleon, way before. So, uh, yeah, the Maori order, they settled New Zealand and they, so they, they settled New Zealand first and then the Maori came and then they ate all the Maori order. <laughs> What? They ate them. Ate the humans? Yeah. Because uh, what they believe is they believe that like... Say yeah, if, that's if, like if cannibal. You, yeah, yeah. But so what they They're believe... They're cannibals. Yeah, no shit. But, they, they eat dogs too? Uh, or they, they, yeah, they drove like many animals to extinction. So we had like the great eagle. And the great eagle was bigger than an albatross. Eating human, that's crazy. Well, they, they, all they did is they, they'd have like a big fight and so one tribe would fight against another tribe and then the leader of the winning tribe would eat the heart of the, of the losing tribe, like chief. Heart? Yeah, the heart. Because they, they wanted to absorb the power. So it was like a very spiritual thing. And oh. So they just eat the other person. Yeah, it's probably new though. Yeah, yeah. So, like. Why don't you kick them out? <laughs> because indigenous population, if you cannot prove that they did not come from there, then you cannot, you can't do anything. You can't do anything for what? Because they're, they're native, native population. It's like coming to Cambodians. Uh, it's like coming to Cambodia and saying fuck off Cambodians, you know? It's same thing. Well, some of the Cambodian people are eating dog. Yeah, well, dog's okay. It's not human. But it's not cool. The yeah. dog is the no, sure. mate. The, the dog should be a friend. Yeah, the, it's yeah. a mate, not yeah. a friend. It's a mate. No. Yeah. So, which country their original home? Uh, they say like just the islands, so like anywhere from Papua New Guinea to Samoa. Samoa? Yeah, so Papua, oh. Papua New Guinea is in the east. Yeah, they are black people, yeah. Yeah, and, and Samoa is in the west. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. And there's like Fiji and fucking Fiji. a whole bunch of islands in between, right? So Samoa is, uh, is the furthest west location. And then Papua, Papua New Guinea is the furthest east. But what makes sense is if people traveled from say um say cambodia or down and then because people travel used to travel really slowly so like it might with take, the boats yeah with the boats it might they might be on the boat for like like a couple of generations you know and, and they don't know they don't know where they go they just jump on a boat and then they make sure they have enough supplies and then boom are they citizens yeah. Now? Yeah. Citizens. Yeah, but this is like... You gave them citizenship? Uh, well, we signed a treaty. It's called the Treaty of Waitangi. Like immigrants? No, it's, it's a treaty between the white people and like uh, the, the native people. So, because, because they cannot prove that the Maori did not come from there, um, they... Uh, and it's a big, it's a big thing. Like uh, in New Zealand, uh, we have like this massive thing called uh, what, like, uh, like something like foreshore and bed. So it's like, it's like I don't know. It's like it's something to do with the land by the sea. But they've realised that the Maori have realised the the land by the sea is really expensive, right? Yeah. So they want they want to claim back the land. 
because they signed this treaty, you know, all these people, they write their name, but, um, because basically, like, if they don't sign this treaty, they know that they, they're just going to get eliminated, right? So there's going to be no more Māori. <laughs> But yeah, so they signed the treaty to kind of save themselves, but there's very few Māori that are actually left that are, uh, are pure. So, you know, there's no more pure bloods left, if that makes sense. The situation in New Zealand is, to my idea, mm. it is much better than Turkey. Yeah, but Turkey's very old. New Zealand's uh, history is very young. So New Zealand's history, uh, documented history, is less than 300 years. Less than 300 years, but, you know. It's not the point. Of course not. Update. Your standard salary. It's five thousand dollars. No, it's five five hundred a week. All right, five hundred. Five or six hundred dollars a it week. It makes two thousand. Yeah, a month. Yeah. One kilo of red meat, the cheap one. How much? Um, what kind of red meat? Like mince, cow, or lamb? Like, I come from like a like. This is like New Zealand, so like a lot of our a lot of our meat gets exported. So, um, so you can yeah you can go buy a, uh, like a kilo of mint for like ten dollars a kilo. Ten dollars a kilo. Yeah. And two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. The small salary. Yeah. Like anyone can get. Uh, as long as you're working, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if you're working, yeah. small smallest salary, yeah. two thousand dollars, yeah. 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 and one kilo of meat, red meat or lamb or cow is ten dollars. Yeah, but to rent a house, um, oh, that's what I'm afraid of. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people will like they'll they'll like they'll share a house with like so. So you cannot afford a house on this this salary. Not like you know, so like a For house. For example, three guys renting a cheap apartment. Yeah, so so three guys they move in, or three people they move into uh, a house together. Then one bedroom is like two hundred dollars a week. So the whole house might cost like five hundred dollars a week to rent. And then you've got the water and the, the rates, or not the rates, but because the rates are paid by the landlord. Um, but you've got the water and the electricity on top of that. How are you guys struggling in New Zealand? Um, a lot of people say that they are, but the, there's a lot of welfare as well. So the government, if you say if you suffer from like a, a, a medical condition, um, then you get like you get money from the government, and even even if you're like homeless, like if you don't have a home, like then it gets really hard to get money. But because you need a postal address, so if but you, the cheapest rent, yeah, how much is it a month? A month, but well, it's like I don't know. Like as a solo person, I was able to find something from like. 160, 150, 150, yeah, 150. 1500. No, 150, so like. 150. A week. So, what? 100 six, and six, 500? Six, no, $600. Uh, $600 a month. A month. Yeah, 600 you can a find month. $600 a month in a house in New Zealand. Yeah, but that's not a house, that's a room. That's a room, doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Okay. If I were you, I can find five hundred. Uh, yeah, I, I like to help out my mates. So like, um, 
you get a room for six hundred dollars for a month. Yeah. You pay fifteen dollars for a kilo of meat. Yeah. And the cheapest guy, empty guy, yeah. can get two thousand dollars a month. Yeah. What you gonna do? Okay, you gonna pay five hundred dollars or six hundred dollars a month yeah. for the stay accommodation. Yeah. Now I'm gonna tell them Turkish way. Bir ayda 500 ya da 600 dolar para ödeyeceksiniz arkadaşlar. 2000 dolar alıyorsunuz. Sadece en basit adam olsanız, en basit adam olsan 2000 dolar alıyorsun. 1 kilo et 10 dolar. 15 dolar. Kırmızı et. Kuzu, dana. Bak Yeni Zelanda'dan bahsediyoruz. New Zealand means Yeni Zelanda. Hmm. Uh, New Zealand New means yeni. Yeni. Yes. Hmm. Yeni Zelanda. Abi geriye kalıyor 1500 dolar. Ulan her gün kırmızı et yedim ya. I eat red meat every day. Hmm. I can eat meat every day. 600 dollars for a rent. Hmm. 14 bucks, 1400 bucks. Yeah. Left. Yeah. Over one month. All right. Uh, let's talk about electricity, the water stuff. You rent the room. Yeah. Is it included? Uh, sometimes it is. Sometimes it isn't. So. Oh, sometimes it is. So yeah. Six hundred dollars. Electric. No electricity pay. No water pay. One room. So if you if you go into like a border into a house that's already like already established, then you'll get like a then then yeah your your rent will include like Wi-Fi and water and electric yeah. But usually, if you pay six hundred dollars a month, yeah, it's for a room, you're gonna pay. You're not gonna pay electricity. Um, six hundred yeah, dollars for yeah, a room. Yeah, it really depends. Like no, no, in other uh, outcomes, six hundred dollars for a month. That's uh, it. I was paying like two hundred dollars a week, which is what eight hundred dollars a month. Eight hundred dollars yeah. for a month. Yeah. So that would that would be half my income. So if you pay eight hundred dollars a month. Yeah. You get everything. Yeah. And then uh, you have one thousand and two hundred dollars. Yeah, but that's you, uh, must, you must be working a job like so. But I, anyone can get it. Two thousand dollars. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, if you if, if you you're a police officer, how much you get? Uh, starting wage is like forty grand a year. Four hundred dollars? No, no, no. Uh, Four thousand dollars? Forty. Forty. Forty hundred. Four thousand dollars. Four grants. No, forty. Four zero. I know. Four grants. Don't you know grants? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's forty grand a year. What? In one year. So, if you go forty, forty grand. Four thousand dollars. Is it not? No, it's forty. Forty thousand. Forty thousand? Yeah, in one year. No, no, one month. Yeah, so that's uh, what I need to work out. Divided by twelve. Yeah, it's three thousand three hundred. So, it's like three fifty. Yeah. One month, three thousand five hundred dollars yeah. a month for a police officer. Yeah. Is it hard to be police? Yeah. Not much. Yeah. As long as you got like. What a, about the fireman? Uh, firemen don't get paid. How they live? <laughs> uh, they volunteer. So, um, it's really weird, but in like yeah, New Zealand, like firefighters, because of what they do and how people see them, they they don't pay for them. So it's not too hard to be in a police officer, but do they take? Other 
nationalities to be a police officer. Mm. So, can be, cannot be. Only New Zealand people can be a police officer. You gotta, you gotta have your citizenship. Citizenship. Yeah. Okay. Which is like three thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. One police officer. Yeah, every month. Arkadaşlar, bakın, Yeni Zelanda'da. 3500 dolar 3500 dolar maaş alıyorsun bir polis yani bir polis 3500 dolar maaş alıyor bu ne yapar 6 12 18 den 20 bin lira maaş alıyorsun abi doğru değil mi 3500 yani altı not talking Turkish no, no, no. like a minute. <laughs> so good. Yo, your storage space is running out. Not so. for me. It's for you. Mm -hmm. I got boots. <laughs> evet, 6 12 18'den 500 daha koydun mu? 20.000'i geçiyor. 22.000 falan yapıyor. Neyse. 20.000, 22.000. Ulan bu parayı harcayabilir misin? Ulan bir kilo et 50-60 lira. Kaliteli. Bak. Türkiye'de olsa 150 lira olur. Yeni Zelanda eti. Abi 20 bin lira maaş alıyorsun. Ya. Ev kirası, elektrik, su. Bilmem ne. Cart cart dahil. Adam diyor 800 dolar her bir bakımı hallediyorum diyor. Her bir şeyi hallediyorum diyor. Ulan 800 doları harcadın geriye kaldı 2000 dolar. 1700 dolar. Pardon. Ne ne 2700 dolar. 2700 dolar para kaldı geriye. Bu her gün kırmızı et yedim ya. I eat, I eat red meat every day ya. In Turkey. Can I have one? Yeah, In Turkey you don't know the situations. They can eat. They, they can. They can't. They cannot. That's they cannot bad. eat red meat. Three hundred dollars a month. One kilo meat. One uh, ten dollars. Yeah. How can you eat? Rent, outgoings, the car, kids, child. No, it doesn't work. Oh. So the same as Cambodia though. But like what? You look at the Cambodian average wage, it's like what? 300, 300, it's 